<laughs> the news business loves to cover murder stories. Uh, Jody Arias is the perfect example. Americans have been glued to the tube for that trial. But there's another murder trial underway that isn't getting much attention in the press. It involves the murders of seven newborns. The capital murder trial of Pennsylvania Dr. Kermit Gosnell. He's charged with killing seven babies born alive during abortions. The details of this case are so disturbing, so horrendous, we're not going to go through them at 5 p.m., but trust me, they would break your heart. So, why isn't the story getting much coverage? Here's Kirsten Powers, a liberal, and Charles Krauthammer. Listen. I would love an answer to the question why the media isn't covering it. Usually when there's a mur murders like this, the media will say, what happened? Right? Uh, nobody's asking, how did this happen? The fact that it's not covered, I think, is easily explained because it casts uh, aspersions. It, it, it puts the pro-abortion forces in a very bad light. It brings the issue of late terms abortion starkly into relief. But on this, I would think it'd be unanimity in the country. It's hard to argue that the Gosnell story raises inconvenient editorial issues for the mainstream media. Producers and anchors on Lefty TV regularly host plenty of pro-abortion commentators while limiting pro-lifers to a trickle. But Dana, where is the liberal media now? Well, um, okay. They, some of the liberal media defended themselves earlier today and said that in 2011, when the first this, the absolute horrific crimes came to light, that they did report on it then. But we all know the difference, okay? So the Jody Arias trial, Casey Anthony, um, let's just take Jody Arias, though. I think that it's possible that because this is so horrific and a human tragedy and a societal failure on so many levels, um, that you, they don't want to talk about that. But on, with Jody Arias, because it has to do with a woman who some people think was very attractive, who uh, killed her boyfriend, uh, and then a, either in self-defense or in cold blood, that's what the trial is about, um, she says that there was horrible sexual relations between the two of them. So then that gets sexy, right? Then you can talk about that all day long, and they follow the trial. And you have a prosecutor who's quite dynamic and loves to play for the cameras. That gets a lot of attention. This story, it's harder for somebody to, to sit all day and to talk about this because you can't even uh, get through a sentence without your heart catching in your throat because you think you're going to cry about what happened to these babies. Right, but, but, but we do that every time there's a mass shooting. Yes. We deal with it. And that's the, that's the key. That's the question you have to ask the media. What if instead this guy had used a gun? Mm -hmm. uh, the story would be everywhere. Uh, what if, or let's even go to something even more preposterous. What if this happened at SeaWorld and they were animals? You would, that would be all over the news. And but there be, would be legislation proposed. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, but, the, but the fact is you're playing in a very, very uh, uh, controversial world right now in which people have very strong opinions about abortion and about pro-life. And it makes me wonder, where is this collective? Where is the village that promised to help raise your kid? Mm. Uh, they are absent, especially in these neighborhoods. These na in this inner city Philadelphia clinic where perhaps a thousand abortions are performed each year, uh, where black babies are seen as disposable. Where is Harvard? Where is USC? I guess it's only those stupid Republicans and conservatives who care about black kids. Well, I, 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 sure. I would argue with you whether we heard anything about this in the Wall Street Journal. Or whether we heard about this in a lot of conservative newspapers around the country. I part would of this, part that. of this may be about the choice versus pro-life. Mm -hmm. Part of it is it is just such a difficult topic to 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 stick with. I'm not sure that there isn't something to be said about. Where do you go with this? Do you remember when when and I haven't said that. I, I, you remember when that woman put those three kids in the car? Right. And w what was her name? Does anybody remember? Yeah. I, it, yeah, d yeah. Down in the south, she, let, Susan let him, Smith. Yeah. Susan Smith. Susan right. Smith. Right. Right. I thought it was three, but anyway, it was, or the woman who drowned her five kids in Houston. We went with those stories for a long time, so I'm not sure I so see you're, the, you're making your, you're making your first I, point. I said I was making my first probably, point, now I'm making my second point, and this is why I'm confused in my life. Well, well yeah, but, but aren't you saying, Kimberly, isn't yeah. Bob in a sense hey, saying, me, because, it's I, no, you're because it's about abortion, you were not seeing, because it's about abortion, and it's a bad... His first point was that, yes, a part of this piece, what we're discussing, is that there's the difference between pro-choice, pro pro-life, and maybe that's why they're not covering it, because this is not good for the pro-choice movement, because it means this is what you're supporting, legislation and doctors that murder children. Well, the, you know, I will tell you, unequivocally, Bob, children. do you think for one second People if this doctor killed that. those seven babies with a gun, 
that this wouldn't be shown on every yeah, mainstream yeah, media. Let's, 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 let's bring the gun control debate back in here. Let me ask Let me ask the yes no. question. Yes. I, I would say that probably they would cover it. Yet. So You're therefore right. it is because but it's let me an abortion ask you a question. Plan. Do you think that, that really in a newsroom or in a, in a big broadcast, they would say, we're not going to cover this because it's uh, an assault on pro-choice position, and therefore we're not going to do it? I mean, I, I can't have unspoken. a hard time imagining it. Is I think it is unspoken. I think it is a way that you avert your eyes and keep moving on. One of the uh, bloggers for the Washington Post, um, she said it was a local crime story right. and that that's why it wasn't being covered. But if that's true, every story could be described as a local crime story. I'm going to give some credit to um, social media, which we talk a lot about, the power of it, and also conservatives who, you know, finally there is a medium for conservatives to come together as a group and to push on something. Breitbart.com, for example, is a place where you can find the story and so you can see the picture of the jury box that was reserved for reporters at this trial, empty. Really? And they're the ones that, that started really pushing. It might have been other um, outlets as well, but that was the one that, I, that caught my eye and that I've been following that on Twitter. And I saw this movement, and now you see finally other people starting to talk about it. And so there is power in social media to try to hold the media accountable, and they should be holding each other accountable too. You know, there's another, there's another group of people that are, are being protected. Uh, during the reason why this debate doesn't come up, and it, it is the people that perform mm -hmm. abortions under the idea that these people are the ones making the decisions when this happens. And under I, I, during the debates on the Born Alive Infant bills, there are people saying, like President, like Senator Barack Obama, that we trust that the doctors will make well, the right decision. Greg, but well, clearly, there are doctors who don't. Greg, it, a it's very a, small percentage of these doctors do something like this. Most we, of these abortion doctors stick within the law, which is the first trial. Yeah, but none of them should do it. And the point is, well, the why, okay, but hold on, Bob. Stay yeah, every right, it, the to, that, to that argument, there yeah. should, it, which they use in the gun argument, is it shouldn't happen once. They right. Right. And it also we can is save that, one um, life. Yes. But right? it's also that life that. is precious. That, right. Right, that, that every life is precious. Stories like this um, challenge somebody who might think um, that, that doesn't know if they believe that life begins at conception mm -hmm. or not. Something like this, you look back, you think those, what happens to those little babies. That happens from the beginning, if there's abortion, even early on. That's, it challenges that, and that is a harder thing to talk about. And okay, hold on, I've been cut off three times. This is important. The bottom line is we have to cover stories like this to prevent this from ever happening. It's not okay that there's another Gosnell out there. Make the stories known so people know this is what's going on. This is where your taxpayer money is going. This is what you need to be aware of. And shut these places down and have the courage to come forward and expose individuals that Taxpayers are essentially vote. serial They're yelling killers. in my ear, Greg. You want to I was just going to gonna say, what, hap what happens when you denigrate uh, reality to, a great ex to, to such a great extent that a fetus can now be used to describe something that is alive, I mean, that alive. is born outside a woman's body is still a fetus.